So before I start this amazing video, there is a video of from the official developer of Fusion. Make sure to check it out. He goes way more in detail. Uh, I'm just here lazy explaining for a paint um, banana. Anyway, enjoy. What's up, boy? Today I will be explaining about Fusion a bit. Uh, maybe the client server model. This is gonna be an unedited version as I'm too lazy. So anyway, let's begin. Um, in Fusion, it's a new product of Photon. Blah blah blah. There is a shared mode, which as you can see, beautiful. And there is the, what is it called? Host server mode, I think? Uh, you get the point, right? I'm not gonna throw it again and again. I'm gonna be talking, now I'm gonna be talking about the host server mode. Um, so let us begin. What is a client server mode? I think this is uh, the official name, uh, client server mode, client server module. So when it comes to competitive games and PC games, you will most likely want to have uh, the host server mode or client uh, server model. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Now, why is that? Let's imagine we have a player right here. This is a player. It's a beautiful player. I'm going to put some hair on it. And this is another player. Now, let's say that this player is, uh, this is a racing game. And this is a car. This is also a car. This is the end of the line, right? This is the line. Now let's say that they are both actually um, moving to the line and one of them, well let's say the two of them actually saw themselves um, pretty much finishing this line before the other player right here. So he said I won, he said he won. Who the fuck knows who won, right? In, in the real world you will go to the god, aka judge, you will tell him your judge. Um, please tell me who won, please decide. Now the judge, in this case, is uh, the server. Only the server actually knows the true state of the world, right? How can you decide, in this scenario, who actually passed who? I mean, this player is not the host, this player is not the server. Sorry, a uh, host and the server is the same thing, only a host is with a player that runs the server on his machine. So anyway, this guy is a player, this guy is a player, but they are not the host, they are not the server. So who the fuck won? Who actually got first into the line? Now in order to actually solve all of this, there is the server. The server knows the true state of the world. He know how it was in the past, he know how it is currently, and those players are actually in this model called clients. Right? They are clients, they are dum dumb. They can literally do nothing besides maybe requesting something from the server or sending some input to the server telling them to move. So in this scenario, when there is a server, the clients or whatnot, probably the server actually, uh, will check, well, let's see um, who actually got this guy, this guy, and he's like, I don't know, I like this guy better, let's say that this guy won. Then this guy is gonna curse me online, say that I'm cheated, but uh, I definitely not, you're just lagging behind my guy. So, um, this is why we wanna have a server, you can call it a one um, a tool, how, how the fuck did he say it? I saw some description on, uh, on the Discord channel, he said it really good, uh, one single truth of source. This is a one single truth of source, there is no more than one tool. So, um, in that case, when it comes to PC games, usually not mobile games and um, not WebGL games I think as well, um, client server mode. Uh, is the way to go, again depending on your game honestly, it's not like the shared mode is a bad thing, definitely not. All of the players can be treated like a server, right? So the clients have state authority over their network objects. So when the client actually wanna move, he doesn't have to go to the server, he pretty much moves his character by himself. If there is anything wrong and lagging and so on, who gives a fuck, I am, uh, I'm calling the shots. So you can definitely um, realize with a small amount of thinking, that this will not go in competitive games. Uh, imagine if any, if everyone in Counter-Strike will decide if I hated someone or not. Yeah, so Overwatch, Counter-Strike, Rocket League, whatever the fuck it may be, most games you know out there will use the client-server model. Uh, it is just the preferable way for this, for this kind of games. Fusion provides those two mods. Thank you, Fusion. Yeah, okay, so in this, um, in this banana kind of a model, the server-client mode, we have a lot of features because, you know, when it comes to server client mode, what will happen is that this guy with the sad face right here, he, he will press space in order to jump. 
But, you know, he cannot really move his character. He does not have the state authority over his character. So, in this case, he will have to go to the server, tell him, yo, boy, please move me. I pressed the space bar. Please do something, move my character. So, it will go to the server, depending on your latency, and then the server will validate your request, uh, depending on your request, and then it will go back into the client with the new position it needs to move. Now, this, this right here, takes some time. It takes some time, and even if you are really close to the server, you will experience this uh, irresponsive gameplay experience. Like, I will press the space jump uh, to move, and I will see my character only jumping like one second after. Imagine that in fucking Overwatch. People will curse me even more than they already are. So like, um, yeah, this is an issue, and in order to solve this issue, there is this thing called client side. I'm not gonna type it, client-side prediction, you know what I mean. Client-side prediction, as the name suggests, which I don't know how to type prediction, it predicts the future state of the server. So the client, only the clients, the host does not predict anything, he is the host, he has the true state of everything, he does not need to predict anything. Only the clients want to predict the future state of the server in order to no, I'm not sure how to pronounce that fucking word, but in order to um, to provide this responsive gameplay experience, right? So instead of actually waiting this amount of time in order to move my character, the client assumes that his space uh, input will be validated by the server. He still sends his request to the server, but he does assume in that specific tick or in the, I suppose, uh, the next few ticks that his response will be um, is gonna be correct depending on the past, like depending on the past local information he has. Like he has some local information from the previous uh, snapshots from the server, and snapshots are were the true state of how the server was in the past. So um, because he has the true state, and let's say he jumps, so okay, maybe jumping specifically is not the best way to predict. Let's say he's moving every frame, uh, one one unit. Um, so he's gonna predict uh, that his uh, next movement is gonna be validated by the server. Now, this could lead to mispredictions, right? Mispredictions, not know how to fucking type it. So mispredictions, I'm sorry for cursing by the way, um, just a way of me speaking, so I truly apologize. So there is a misprediction happening, right? A misprediction is when I predicted that in this, uh, in my current tick, in this client, this is my input authority player, uh, in my client tick, I predicted that my, um, my position is gonna be there, right, and um, in the next snapshot from the server, which is the past, as, the, as all of the snapshots to the clients are gonna be from the past, as the clients are always gonna be lagging behind the server, so uh, on the next validated tick from the server, uh, the client will see, in Fusion I think, uh, I'm not sure in other uh, frameworks, um, but the clients or the server, uh, they will see if the snapshot they received and, the, and his prediction were the same. If there is any drastic change between the prediction of this client and the true of uh, the true state on the server then the server will say well boy hell no you are not moving to anywhere right i'm going to correct you you don't have the input authority yes i provide you a nice gameplay experience so you moved right you moved you you saw your interpolated target moving but you didn't really move you see that on the next validated uh, tick from the server the next snapshot you will be corrected now, if you played any competitive games, you will probably uh, you probably experienced it before. You probably know what I'm talking about as well. But if you don't, it's like you move, you see your player move, but then suddenly you were like uh, reset, like your position was resetted to the to the past. Like I didn't really move. You saw him moving for like a tick, for two ticks, for like uh, two seconds. Then the server said, "Boy, hell no, uh, do a consolation, right? This is uh, this is not your true position." So the, mis uh, the server reconciliation um, 
is, is a very important feature because we are doing uh, the client server module, we are doing client side prediction in order to provide a snappy, good gameplay experience. And because we are doing that, we have to have some kind of a technique to um, reconciliate if we have any issues, if we have any mispredictions. Now, this, um, all of these techniques are not like fusion dependent, right? It's any client model, any client model, um, any client server model. What the fuck am I talking about? Any client server model does these things. Um, I think these techniques are like fairly, fairly old, so you can read about them online. Um, there is proxies. I know in Fusion they call them proxies. I'm not sure about other frameworks, but there is the thing called proxies. Now, I'm not sure why in Fusion Darks there is no clear definition what a proxy is. I had to actually dig in in Discord channels in order to understand clearly what is a proxy. So a proxy is, is a guy that is neither the input authority or the state authority, right? So if this is my guy, this is my player, and I have the input authority, so I could actually send my input to the server, do I view my guy as a proxy? Hell no. Now let's see the other guy. Now I'm a client, I do not have also the state authority over any objects, like the state authority is always gonna be the server, unless, which I'm not sure if you can do that in Fusion, you specify that a client could have a state authority, which I'm not even sure when are you gonna be using that, but most of the time a state authority will always gonna be like the server. So if this is a client, this is my player, the input authority, and there is another client right here, and he's not the host, this is another client, do I view him as a proxy? Hell yeah, boy, I am viewing him as a proxy because I do not have the input authority over his character, I do not have state authority over his character, this guy is a proxy. Now, why is it even too even uh, important to understand what a proxy is, you may ask. It's because we need to understand how do we interpolate uh, proxies, how do we actually view them. Uh, the way we view ourselves and the way we view proxies um, will be different. I, I guess it does depend on, on your way you interpolate the proxies, but it most likely will be different. So Fusion provides us now, it's specifically for Fusion what I'm saying, Fusion provides us some pre-made components, um, which I um, don't remember all of them, but as you probably know, there is a network transform and a network rigid body uh, 3D or 2D, or both of them. Now, I'm not gonna be talking about the rigid body 2D, it's a bit different. The network transform, the way um, you have, you'll see in the script itself, I'm too lazy to pop it out, but uh, there is a interpolation data source. So this is the way we are going to be interpolated this visual object, right? We are interpolating everything. If you're your player, what you see, your player uh, is actually in an interpolated player, uh, visuals, which were in the past, as you know, you're always gonna be lagging from the server, but uh, because you're doing client-side prediction, you are interpolating uh, a prediction of yours, right? If it is set to auto, all of the input authority network objects you have, specifically now speaking, it is gonna be the player, this player, my player, is gonna be set to be predicted. But proxies, as you remember, objects that do not have input nor the state authority, will be set to snapshots. Snapshots are the true states of how the game actually was from the server. So what I view, the proxies I see, they are actually in the past. This is where lag compensation comes in. Did I actually speak about it? I do not remember. Um, but I'll explain about it in a second. So um, what's going on? Like, why do you even need lag compensation, what it is, and so on? So if, you, if we view him in the past, there is a bit of an issue, and hence we actually need lag compensation, but we'll talk about it in a second. Um, now you can actually say, well, wait, I want to predict everything. So you can say instead of auto, do predict it, and you will try to predict the other client, future position, rotation, and so on. Is it necessary? I mean, yes and no, depends on your game. I will say most likely no, and uh, you will have a lot of mispredictions as how you, how can you predict, for example, if a player jump, and you cannot predict predict if a player is going to press the space jump key. But you can try to predict his future position based on the past position he was, so you will most likely experience a lot of mispredictions, uh, depending on your error correction settings and so on. You'll see how the gameplay experience is gonna be. Um, so you can say auto, predicted, or snapshots. You can even say, well, I want to see myself doing snapshots. And you'll see that you will lose the old uh, beautiful thing called client-side prediction. You will experience the irresponsive gameplay experience I talked about. Lack compensation um, 
Okay, imagine a scenario. Let me clear all of this. Pain. Okay, imagine a scenario. We have a guy and uh, he has a gun. And we have another guy, he has a gun. This guy is mine put a 40, so this is my local player. And this guy is another player, uh, another client, and I view him as a proxy. The server is somewhere else, not really necessary. Well, the server is gonna be here, actually. Um, so I'm a guy. Now, I view him as a proxy, so I actually view him through snapshots. The interpolated target I see, the actual visuals of this object, I view him through snapshots. So from the last validated tick from the server. So I view him in the past, right? I view him in the past. Now, if I view him in the past and I'm in, uh, in a prediction, right? I view myself through a prediction. So let's say, um, you know, on the server is tick 103 currently. I currently it's 103. Now if it is currently 103, it means that the proxy I view, let's say for example, it's always gonna be behind the 103. I'm gonna say for this example it's gonna be 102. Now I view myself in prediction, so let's say I am in 105. Now if this is the true current state of the world, and this is the past, the, the past position I see this player at, and I'm actually at a prediction of 105, what I'm actually shooting at is a, in a visual object that were in the past. So I'm gonna shoot this guy, and um, yet again in this scenario without the feature of lag compensation, I'm gonna try to hit him. Now on my screen, it looks like I hit him. So I'll go to the server, I'll tell him, wait, well, what the fuck man, I actually hit him, like, check this out. Now the guy will, uh, will check, the server will say, well, listen boy, I mean, you hated him, but he's not longer there. You hated him in the past, in 102. Now, you are in, you know, you view him in 102, you are in 105, uh, and his position, his true position of this player is actually at 103. Let's say he moved another unit, right? So his position already was changing. So because you are actually always viewing him in the past, how the fuck can you even hit him? Introducing the feature called lag compensation. Yeah. <laughs> now, you don't really, you can't really hit the guy unless he stopped moving and, you know, then you'll have like uh, so many unregistered um, hits. So like this, uh, I'm gonna curse this guy, he's gonna say lol you're a noob and so on. Now, what the fuck are we doing now? The whole concept of lag compensation. Lag compensation is, uh, is a way is a way to actually, to the server, to actually verify if from my perspective, from my um, present, or I suppose from my future position, from the server view, uh, if I actually hit this guy. So the server, and this is not Fusion specifically, but let's talk about Fusion, uh, the, the server in general, actually in all frameworks, I think, saves a buffer of the previous ticks. Now in Fusion, I think it, it, it saves the, all, uh, the previous ticks of the confirmed hitboxes. So let's say this is 103, stored 102, 101, 199. Now, you know, depending um, on your settings, it saves a few buffers uh, before. So now when you actually shoot this guy, what happens is that this guy is gonna shoot him. I'm gonna go to the lag compensation manager. I think that's how it works in Fusion. And I'll tell him, yo, check for my perspective server. Check for my perspective perspective, right, from my present perspective, if it makes sense that I hated this guy. So the server, this is again tick 105, the server 103 currently will go to the tick of 102, the, the position I saw this proxy. The server will now compare from what I see in my present to what I saw in the past, and depending on the result from the server, he will decide if I actually, if it actually makes sense that I hated him or not. Um... Yeah, I think that's about it. Jesus, that was a speedrun of explaining the basics. I don't know if, I, if it even makes sense. Uh, so this way, by comparing the, you know, the past position, the true position of how the proxy was, and for, for my current position, the server can now actually decide if I hated him or not. If so, the server lower this guy's health. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, Fusion basics, I guess. And um, client-server model basics. 
I hope I explained it well enough. Obviously, <laughs> do not like see this video and then okay, understand everything. Uh, make sure to read it through. It's actually interesting. Um, there is like great articles. I, I'll try to not be lazy and put them down in the description. And um, understanding how it works, uh, it's quite important. I'm, I'm not sure if I missed anything. Maybe I said something wrong. Please correct me if I did. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Have a lovely life. You can check out my uh, asset store. Um, banana on the asset store um join the discord channel so on and um i'll see you guys in the next um, random video i guess so uh fusion 101 client server model bye bye